Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've been on here and chit chatted with you guys. So I thought I'd pop on here, bare faced, and show you guys my current, I guess, base routine and also show you what I pack in my travel bag a little bit more in depth. I did do a reel, a little short reel, which I'll link up the top here, but I thought I'd do a bit more of an in depth kind of chit chat why I pack these products, why I use them, what I love about them, and why they're ne a necessity for travel. Mm -hmm. So for my travel bag, I use this little bag here, just a nice little Sephora bag. Honestly, you can use anything. I like the plastic because it's easy to clean, and it's a nice size for traveling. So the tools I use when traveling, I try and keep to a bare minimum. I'm bringing two things this time. So I have traveled in the past. I actually think I did a travel chit chat makeup tutorial in the past, which I'll keep linked down below as well. Uh, but I thought to myself this time around, I was like, I'm not gonna overpack. I'm gonna pack the essentials. I always make the mistake of overpacking, bringing too many things and I don't end up using it and it just takes up space in my bag. So I thought to myself, two utensils. These are what I use on an everyday basis. I only need these two things. I've got a sponge and a little brush for all my powders. So I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my skin. I actually use a natural moisturizer. My sister makes this moisturizer. She has a little business, so if you guys are interested, this is her business right here. It is uh, Simply Natural Nessa. It's a bit of a more oil-based moisturizer. And now that I'm in my late 20s, I know in my early 20s I used to hate anything with oil, but I'm actually loving it. It's so nourishing and moisturizing. It has shea butter in it, so it smells amazing. She uses all natural ingredients. She makes it herself. As an oily skin girl, I'm more of a combination skin girl now, but it has done me well. It doesn't break down my makeup. My makeup lasts all day, so it gets the big thumbs up from me. <laughs> okay, first things first. I'm gonna grab the first product out of my makeup kit. I don't use a primer. I literally just moisturize nowadays. I honestly don't love Priming, I think skincare is the most important thing to, in terms of prepping your base. Primers do serve a purpose. For me, I don't need them. So you prep your skin how you like it. I have two foundations that I go in with. I'm a bit of a high maintenance girl. I like two foundations to get the perfect color. I'm using the 100% pure foundations because they're natural. They're good for my skin. I've been doing a lot of research into makeup and how toxic it can be. I've been really looking into researching products that are natural that are also good because I know there are a lot of natural makeup products on the market but they don't last so that's been my biggest issue but I found I love 100% pure I used to do a lot of reviews on this brand I just love it I love it so much so I have the shade peach bisque in the fruit pigmented healthy foundation and then I have a more full coverage foundation which is the fruit pigmented water foundation and this one is in the shade neutral uh, they both have glass packaging so they're a bit bougier, you know? I love that kind of thing. And what I do is I just pump two pumps of the darker foundation, which is peach bisque. And I'll do two pumps of the lighter foundation, which is the neutral. So then I've got my beauty sponge and I go through and just kind of mix them together on my face. So I actually am going to Canada. That is why I'm doing my pack my travel bag with me. I'm heading to Canada for a month and I didn't want to overpack this time like I've done previously. I always found I brought too much and like I said, it just honestly filled up too much space in my bag. I brought all these eyeshadows, um, eyeshadow brushes and all those kinds of products and I just never used it. It was such a waste of space. So I'm determined this time to just bring the essentials. And like, I like wearing these products. I like wearing this makeup. It's not uncomfortable. It's so comfy. I'm one that I love putting makeup on other people, but I hate wearing it on myself because it's just uncomfortable usually. So not everything in my bag is natural. I am going in with the Lancome uh, concealer. It's the long lasting concealer. And this is in the shade two. So what I'll do usually is I literally just squirt a pump like that and squirt a little pump like that. I drag it down to begin off with to get a little bit more coverage on the cheeks, you know? So I'll drag it down, drag it down put whatever's on the sponge at the time on my eyelids and then bring whatever's left under the eyes. And honestly, that is my secret to minimize creasing. The less product under your eyes, the better. I was looking back at old videos I did just because it's been such a long time when, since I've done a chit chat with you guys. And I couldn't believe how much product I used to use on my face. It used to be caked on. That was the, t that was the days back in 2016. So for powder, I'm taking my Bamboo Blur Powder from 100% Pure. So we're back onto the natural products again. I'm only lightly dusting under my eyes and over the top as well. Pretty much anywhere where I place concealer. The reason why I have gone back to more natural products, because I did go through a phase of natural products before I um, went more to the 
I guess, mainstream products again was honestly just because I watched the TV show on Netflix. I think it was like Deep Water um, or something like that. And they talked about the forever chemicals in Teflon pans. Um, and then I was doing my research and I was like, oh my God, it's also in makeup. And I had heard for years that makeup did have a lot of toxins in it, but I didn't realize about the forever chemicals. And I didn't want those forever chemicals in my body. So I've tried to minimize how much I put on my skin in terms of those um, mainstream products with the forever chemicals. And some mainstream pro products like Giorgio Armani and things like that, their concealers are really good. They're actually pretty clean. So I bought a whole heap of those. So I've got that in my makeup kit for my clients because I wanted to, if I'm putting it on my skin, I want my clients to have the best products too. So if I feel like it's good on my skin and I would use it on myself, I'll use it on my clients as well. And I was trying to find some more mainstream products that were good brands um, that were clean because I also think there's a time and a place for those long wearing products and things like that, particularly for weddings and bridal things, which is what I do as well on the side. Now the only thing with that powder is I always have to make sure that I haven't got any residue left because it can leave a little bit of a white cast underneath. So just make sure less is best and just make sure you wipe any residue away. Next thing I do is I love to go in with my cream bronzer. I'm using the NARS Laguna cream bronzer and give a little swipe to the cheek like that. And whatever's left under my nose, kind of do a little cute little C shape on the end of the nose, try and make her look a little smaller, a little more snatched. Now going in with the beauty sponge. Again, she's just so versatile. It's so easy to bring one sponge as opposed to 10 brushes. And just pounce your life away. For the final cream products we're gonna to use today, I'm going in with this liquid blush. Um, another liquid blush I really love, and that is a clean brand, is the Makeup by Mario Cream Stick Blushes. The Pale Petal, mm, she has my heart. She is gorgeous, and it's so similar to this color. I have Orgasm from NARS. Pale Petal is clean, and it's also a stunning shade. It goes on so many skin types. So I'm literally just kind of applying it like that. I like my blush more back towards the temples as opposed to on the apples, but if you like it on the apples, pop it on the apples, honey. You do you. So in Canada, I'll be there for a month and I'll be going to British Columbia, which is where those beautiful, stunning shots of the lakes and the mountains are. Um, so I'm going to be exploring British Columbia, the western side for three weeks and I'm doing one week in Nova Scotia. So I'm a big Anne of Green Gables fan and they filmed Anne of Green Gables little movies back on Ed Prince Edward Island where Green Gables was. Oh I can't wait to go there and just indulge in all the Anne of Green Gables kind of fangirl moments. <laughs> I'm going in with the 100% pure powder bronzer. This is in the shade Cocoa Gem. It is absolutely stunning. It has almost like a shimmer reflect to it, but it's not shimmery at all. And it layers on top of the creams really nicely too. Now the last powder I'm going to use in my little travel bag is the NARS Orgasm Powder. It's got a slight shimmer to it. She's gorgeous for blush. A little goes a long way though. Final product of today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Taupe. So I use this for freckles as well as my brows. Now honestly, my brows, I barely touch anymore. I'm trying to give it a more untouched natural vibe. I just fill in any gaps and I just do the front, the head of the brow. I used to do a video of like a five minute brow routine. <laughs> that was not five minutes. I look back and I go, that would take me forever now. This is literally like a minute brow routine. <laughs> And then I'll go in and literally just go over my freckles. I've been obsessed with freckles lately. I know you can get better freckle like pens and things like that but this just does the trick done so for lips honestly i don't really do much with my lips i will probably bring like a rose toned lip liner to bougie up my lips on the odd occasion when i want to overdraw them or just have something sitting on my lips otherwise this is my finished look guys thank you for sticking around watching the video all the way through i hope you enjoyed it please give a big thumbs up if you did i hope to do more kind of chit chatty videos with you guys in future when i get back from canada i love you all so much and i'll talk to you soon bye guys